July 9th, Saints John Fisher and Thomas More, Martyrs. The lives of Saints Thomas More and John Fisher are closely linked, and thus it's appropriate that the church celebrates their feast on the same day. They are both renowned Englishmen, martyred within two weeks of each other for the same cause of defending religious liberty, the sanctity of marriage, and papal authority against state usurpation. They were both associates of King Henry the Eighth before his apostasy, and it was at his hands that they both suffered martyrdom. John Fisher was born in England in the year 1469. He was sent to Cambridge University at the age of 14. There he distinguished himself greatly in his studies. He was ordained priest by special permission when he was only 22. He became successively senior proctor of divinity, master of Michael House, and vice chancellor of the university. In 1502 he resigned his mastership to become the chaplain of the king's mother, Lady Margaret Beaufort, countess of Richmond and Derby. Under his direction, this three-time widow vowed to dedicate her remaining years to God. Under his guidance, she made a noble use of her fortune. She has come to be known as the greatest benefactress of Cambridge University. The university's debt to St. John Fisher is not universally recognized. When he went to Cambridge, neither Greek nor Hebrew were taught and the library had been reduced to 300 volumes. He endowed scholarships and reintroduced both Greek and Hebrew to the curriculum. He was later nominated by King Henry VII to the Bishopric of Rochester at the age of 35. He was also appointed tutor by the royal family to Prince Henry, who became Henry VIII. Fisher paid special attention to people who were poor. He wrote eight books against heresy, and Henry, then king, was proud to be his friend. All this changed when King Henry claimed that his marriage to Catherine, his brother's widow, was not valid. Henry had become tired of Catherine and interested in young, attractive Anne Boleyn. Henry's request for a divorce was refused by the Pope, and Bishop Fisher supported this decision. He was strong enough to resist signing the document siding with King Henry, though all other bishops of England signed it. Six months later, Henry had Parliament write another document, the Oath of Supremacy, claiming that Henry was the supreme head of the Catholic Church church in England. Again, Bishop Fisher refused to sign. This made the king angry. The bishop was sentenced to prison in 1534 on the charge of high treason. The pope declared the jailed bishop a cardinal. Fisher was kept in prison for 14 months without trial. In June 1535, he was condemned to death by beheading. Thomas More was born in 1477, the son of a lawyer in London. He planned to become a priest, but then his father convinced him to enter law school. His three daughters, son, and friends helped make his home a happy place. Besides being a well-respected and thorough lawyer, Thomas was a charming, witty man who won the friendship of the king. Henry VIII began his rule of England as a devout king. Later, Henry asked Thomas to approve of the divorce he wanted. Thomas refused. Of course the king became angry. By this time Thomas had become Chancellor of England. Henry wanted Thomas on his side. Then, when every bishop except John Fisher signed the Oath of Supremacy, Thomas refused to sign. He resigned as Chancellor and retired to his country home, hoping for a quiet life with his family. Thomas, however, was sent to prison. He was kept for more than a year in the Tower of London. The king tried hard to make him change his mind, but Thomas stood firm. Firm. He knew this stand would mean certain death for him and disgrace for his family, but he followed his conscience. Finally, after suffering hunger, cold, and loneliness, Thomas was led out to be beheaded on July 6th. Seeing that the masked swordman was quite nervous, Thomas said, Be not afraid, for you send me to God. Then he said to the crowd, I die the king's good servant, but God's first. Thomas More and John Fisher were beatified together by Pope Leo VIII in the year 1886 and canonized together by Pius XI in the year 1935. One a layman and statesman, the other a priest and bishop. They stand together as models and heroes of of religious freedom against encroaching government powers.